Speaker recognizes Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to speak in support of this budget. The corrections budget is one of the largest budgets for, the United, for us today. And our corrections budget is one of the largest in the United States, Madam Speaker. Members, we have a colleague addressing the body. Please give him your attention. Also, we're still under Rule 32. Speaker recognizes Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The budget is clearly crafted and diligently made. These allocations touch on a wide variety of areas that make us one of the, excuse me, these allocations touch on a variety of areas that make up the correction system. It is a big responsibility for a state to maintain the correction system and to, and to imprison individuals. In Michigan, sentences are three times longer than most states on average. Long and drawn out sentences means more money towards corrections. Madam Speaker, I encourage us all to address the real issue. That's excessive sentences. The state is responsibility to tend to those who are sentenced and to budget, and the budget does just that responsibly. Longer incarceration times mean increased funds for health, wellness programs, and taking part in college and treatment programs. This budget provides $2.3 million for university college prison programs, providing mentors, teachers, and classes to support students' success. The budget also grants funding for not just trauma and transition back into society after incarceration. These programs also help empower those in the system and help to lower inmate recidivism. The budget reinforces system safety by encouraging correction officers to retention. The budget offers correction officers signing and retention bonuses, helping to keep facilities adequately staffed. These funds help our communities those that work it within the system, and those that live outside the gates of Michigan Correctional Facilities stay safe. Madam Speaker, this budget benefits all of Michigan people, and I encourage my colleagues to vote yes on House Bill 4247. Thank you, Madam Speaker.